happening right now. History in the making. It says Kenny Alexander is sworn in as Norfolk's next mayor. The ceremony started about two hours ago. Ten on your side's Laura Queso has been there since the event kicked off. She's live with the latest info. Good morning or good afternoon, Laura. Good afternoon, Chris. Of course, truly a historic day here in the city of Norfolk and a very exciting day for a lot of people as well. Now, everything wrapped up just about 30 minutes ago, but I want you to take a look at what it looks like. Check out the crowd supporting Mayor Kenny Alexander and also two councilwomen who were sworn in today as well. Now, going back to the mayor, he said as a young boy growing up in Berkeley, this was his dream. Of course, now a dream that has become a reality for him. It's also a historic day, as you mentioned, Chris. That's because Mayor Alexander is the first African American mayor of Norfolk. And now he says this is when the work really begins. I asked him, what is the number one issue he wants to tackle on day one of his job? Improving schools and the quality of life, certainly um, we, can, we can be measured. The essence of our community, the essence of our, um, of our the fabric of our life can be measured uh, on, the, on, on, on the ability of how we educate and how we have outcomes in our in our school system. Now, two councilwomen were also sworn in today, Angela Williams Graves and Andrea McClellan. Of course, Mayor Alexander is taking over for Paul Frame, who has served the city of Norfolk for 30 years. You know, he was up at the podium expressing his happiness for the mayor. He's been backing him for some time now and said how happy he is for this next chapter for the city of Norfolk. Now, there's a lot more coming up tonight at Wavy News 10 at 4 when Stephanie Harris and I join you. But I'll be back here at 1230. What the mayor, the new mayor, says about crime crime for the city of Norfolk as he takes office today, day one. For now, I'm live downtown, Laura Queso, 10 on your side.